Oh yeah, it's only me. Fresh from my travels to Vape Fest in Shrewsbury. And uh, I'm going to be having a quick look at the uh, DV mixing kit. Yes, don't go out of shop. I am going to be getting into mixing. It might only be a quick mixing kit, but yes, I'm going to be getting into mixing. It only took uh, two and a half years, but I'm going to get there. Right, this is what I'm going to be looking at. This is the Decadent Vapors Quick Easy Mixing Kit, the cloud, big cloud kit. This is what I'm going to be doing for you. This is going to be my first venture into mixing actually. Never mixed before. This is the this one's the big cloud base, and this is the uh, Sarsa Perilla is what I chose for the uh, concentrate. So what I'm going to do, I know this is going to sound a bit silly, but this is what I'm going to do anyway. I'm going to go down and do a little close-up of what these two bottles actually are, give you, you know, show you a bit more detail. And then I'm going to actually mix the two together. So yeah, I'm going to do a bit of live, well not live mixing really, but you know what I mean. Right, so we uh, See you in a second. Okay, so what you can see here, we've got the two, two bottles. This one here is the, the big cloud base. Now there's a space in the, the top of here for the concentrate to go in, basically. So really, all I need to do is to tip this bottle into that bottle. Give this a bit of a shake up, and hopefully I should have a juice to vape on. Now let's put this one out of the way for a minute. Let's have a bit of a closer look at this one. Now this is a six milligram base, VG obviously, as it says there. Now there's, I'm guessing there's ten mil of space in the top of that bottle. I've not opened it or anything yet. There's directions on the back there that basically say open the bottle, decant the entire 10 ml of your DV concentrate into the bottle, shake thoroughly. Well, that seems simple enough. Mm. Sounds good to me. That's if I can get it right. I mean, let's face it, if anybody's going to mess up putting one bottle, in, bottle into another and shaking it, it's going to be me. So, yeah, that's that bottle. Put that one out of the way. Let's have a look at this one. And this one has got some. Well, not really instructions, but it just says our moisture mixers take great pride in concocting our flavours. In fact, we think they are unsurpassed, so fill up your pipe, close your eyes, draw deeply, and savour the purest flavour and the best vape that money can buy. Now, I chose sarsaparilla, if that's how you want to pronounce it. Sarsaparilla is the way I'd say it, but I'm common. It's got ingredients, directions, add to glycerin EP slash propylene glycol EP according to taste. Suggested concentration 10 to 25%. Store in a dark and cool place for use in personal vaporizing devices. So I'm guessing this isn't exclusively for use with, with that. This is just a, a Deccan and Vapors sarsaparilla concentrate. So yeah. So that is your two, your two ingredients, shall we say, for this easy mixing kit. You put this one into that one, shake this one to death. 
and then you've got your mixed juice to vape on. So, can anything go wrong? Surely not. Well, this is me. Of course it can go wrong. Right, we'll uh, come back up to me and see how it goes, shall we? Back in a minute. And we're back. Right, I'm sorry I can't see all of me, which is probably a good thing. But uh, as you can see, I've just taken the top off the the big clay base. Now I need to take the uh, yeah the plug out of the top of the bottle, which I have just successfully done. So we'll place that down. Now we need to take the sarsaparilla concentrate out. So I just break the seal on that. Sorry if you're not seeing some of this. I'm trying to keep everything on camera as best as I can. So we'll take that out of there. Okay. Now, all we need to do is squeeze that into there, which is what I am now doing. As you can probably hear by that noise, which most of us bakers don't like to hear, because that means your juice is empty. No, we don't like that noise. Means you've either got to go and find another bottle of juice to vape, or you've got to go and buy another bottle. Either way, it's not good. Let's just have a look. Yes, that bottle is empty. I don't know if you can see that, but trust me, it's empty. Oops. Right, so put that plug back into that. Put the top back onto that bottle and then we just sit here and shake it for a bit I'll go away and come back when I've shook it a bit more. See you in a bit. And after much shaking, and the arm's killing me now, we <sighs> hopefully have a complete bottle of juice. Take the top off and see if it smells anything. Smells quite nice. You're going to have to wait until I'm uh, in the studio to vape it live. See you in a bit. Back to the studio. And we are back. I hope you enjoyed my little bit of uh, shaking about there. 
Tristan's comment of uh, looks like he's done that before. Maybe, you never know. Now, what I neglected to mention in that VT is that uh, even though it says six milligram nicotine on here, what you've got to understand is that this is probably slightly stronger than six milligram nicotine. It's designed that way because it's diluted down by the flavoring that you add with the concentrate. So it's going to be slightly stronger than six milligram in this bottle because when you add the concentrate into there, it's diluting that down to make it six milligram with the finished juice that's in there. So hope that makes it clear for you. Right, now, there is said finished juice. I've not vaped it yet. Trust me on that one. Now, I've got uh, a temperature-controlled coil in there that Ridian gave me at vape fest. So, Ridian, thank you for that. So now, I'm going to vape it. Here we go. Hopefully, I'm, hopefully I'm not going to die. Here we go, then. Actually, that's quite nice. Really like that. Yes, I like that. That's not bad, actually. And I'm not dying. I'm not throwing up. I like it. Yes, I would buy another one of those and try different flavours, actually. 